reform don't seem to make sense to people unless it's somebody they can feel or they can recognize. Mm -hmm. But how many times do we have to, do we need to see white people also get beaten before anybody will do anything? I'm not suggesting that, so don't write us. This is Five Minutes with Mike, our news, our voice, and our opinion with your host, Michael Beckford. Now stop, listen, and pay attention for Five Minutes with Mike. Hello and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Mike. I am your host, Michael Beckford. And um, today's episode is, I'm with Whoopi Goldberg on police reform. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying your Black History Month. To those of you guys that celebrate Black History. Um, I personally celebrate Black History Month because, well, I am an African American male. Oof. I'm an African-American male, and I believe it's important to understand and know our history. And of course, later on, we're going to get into a moment of black facts. Um, But about this Whoopi Goldberg thing, there's been an uproar recently in reference to Whoopi Goldberg, who recently made some comments on The View. Uh, The View, of course, is a widely watched uh, television show that is broadcast and produced on the ABC network, which is owned by Disney, by the way. Um, and you know, seriously, she made some comments in regards to police, br- police brutality, and she made a comparison when it comes down to what the black community deals with and what the white community deals with in the hopes that the white community can see and or feel the pain or the frustration that a black community deals with every time we see one of those daggone videos of a black person being violated and or killed. By the hands of the state-sponsored police. Now let's just say some of the Anglo-Saxon community, a.k.a. white people, were not too thrilled about what she said. Even though those of you who've taken a look at the video, you can see clearly that she put forth a disclaimer on why she feels what she feels in regards to the retarded process of policing in America. And yes, I say retarded. Because it, it, it really is crazy to me. You've got to be insane to understand how police in America has been since the time, really, of slave catchers, okay? So let's just say I'm with Whoopi Goldberg on police reform. And this episode of 5 Minutes of Mike is sponsored by the Urban Classes Collection. Download 12 ebooks plus 3 audiobooks, all for less than the price of a hardback book. With best selling titles such as Dying to Be Straight. And thought-provoking books such as Speak Up Poetry and Dirty Negroes. This collection of urban books and audiobooks is great for those that are lovers of African-American literature. All 12 books in the Urban Classic Collection is written by me, Michael D. Beckford, and the link is in the description below. With a limited time 50% off discount promo code 2023books, that's 2023books for 50% off the Urban Classics Collection. Link in the description below. Now... Back to today's topic, I am with Whoopi Goldberg on police reform. In my first segment, I would just have to say the media is partly to blame for the savageness savageness imposed against black people by the state. The media. And of course, yes, Whoopi Goldberg, she's a part of the media, and this is a thing that I happen to agree with her on. But overall, if you look at local media, your local media outlets and even your national outlets, hint, hint, Fox News. Uh, if you look at a lot of these particular outlets there, they do not look at, they do not treat black men and women fairly. They don't, they look at, they go to wherever it is, their quote unquote high crime areas and they report on us in some of the worst of ways. Now, am I saying that black people don't commit crimes and should the terms should, should have some sort of attention in regards to those crimes? Yes, of course. But guess what? We're not the only ones committing crimes out there. But according to the media, you have it that, you know, black people are thugs. Black people are gangsters. You know, (laughs) I say black people are just criminals. 
And so the media, uh, to me, is is a part of the reason why we have these state-sponsored police officers that, that just don't give a D about black people. Matter of fact, I say it. They just don't give a damn sometimes about black people because they hear all this stuff on the media and they get charged up. They're like a raging bull when they come into our communities and uh, oppress our citizens. And they're stopping and frisking people that haven't even committed a god darn gone crime. So, yes... The media is partly to blame for this savageness as I get forward to move to our next segment. In my next segment, I don't find anything wrong with what Whoopi Goldberg said. Okay. I think that, you know, there's, of course, some hysteria on the right, um, particularly those that are white that had an issue with her comparing and saying, hey, well, maybe we need to start seeing some, you know, maybe or maybe it takes, I don't want to paraphrase her, you know, the video's out there, but maybe it takes seeing some, you know, white people, white males or whatever being brutalized and killed by the police for, you know, white people to want to actually make some sort of change. And I agree with her. I'm not saying, of course, we need to go out and, and hurt anybody and or the police need to do it. But I'm just saying I understand in context of what she's trying to say, like, you know, people identify with those that they like, love and trust. And if it's someone that you don't necessarily like, love or trust, then you probably don't give a D about that person. Um, and, and you may not even understand that particular person or walk in that person's shoes. And so I definitely understand the context of what she's saying. And she didn't say anything wrong about it, at least not in my opinion. And on to my last and final segment. Here we have another young black male in the same month. There of January, Austin man in Austin, Texas, was, was murdered by police. While he was this the video time. was released on the same day as the Tyree Nichols video. Uh, do you find that to be a coincidence? <laughs> of course not. It's a cover-up. They didn't want this video to, to, to get the same type of scrutiny and or media attention as the Tyree Nichols situation. And they knew that, of course, the Tyree Nichols thing was getting blockbuster attention. You know, you had the sheriff... Um, the, uh, the chief of police, you know, doing these particular promos for the video, essentially warning everybody how graphic it was going to be. So yeah, I mean, the Austin, Texas department said, Hey, yeah, we, we killed a, a black man that, you know, was running away from us. Did the black man have a gun? Yes. But the gun was not a, as a threat to the actual police department because number one, he didn't point the gun at them. Number two, the young black male had ran away from them. So he was no longer a, uh, uh, he wasn't a threat to them. And number three, the gun was already, you know, set down before, uh, you know, they just decided to shoot like this, the Wild Wild West here in Texas. And so, yeah, the, you know, another black man was shot and, and uh, killed and brutalized and it should not have happened. But, you know, that story, of course, has gotten washed under the rug and, you know, hopefully some more things can come to light. But another tragedy, another young black male, and we are just barely scratching the surface of 2023. Now we're going to take you to some black facts. Did you know? In 2022, the police killed at least 1,192 people. The highest number ever recorded. Wow. According to the Mapping Police Violence Database. A hundred of those people were unarmed. Black people were three times more likely than white people to be killed although they were 1.3 times more likely to be unarmed this information was cited cited from rollingstone.com and this was another moment of black facts now let's take them to church hallelujah Everyone can point the finger at the young black male victim or female in some cases, of course. Everyone can say, he didn't comply. Everyone can say, he or she didn't have the registration ready at the moment the officer gave the order. Everyone can say, he wasn't being obedient enough. But when it comes down to their child being murdered at the hands of the police, what would they say? 
And one of the best ways to help support this channel is by purchasing our newly minted merch. Introducing the Michael Beckford Collection, a new collection of socially conscious apparel. And get your tees, cups, hoodies, and more. The link is in the description below. And please hit that like and subscribe button. 5 Minutes of Mike is written, produced, and directed by Michael D. Beckford, All Rights Reserve. Copyright 2023 by Speak Publishing International and Michael Beckford Media Group, LLC Production. Thank you for listening and watching.